Okay, quick explanation for this. After losing the last three videos before I had for the series, before I had time to upload them, trying to play back through again, ending up with a corrupt save file when I tried to fix a side quest I forgot to pick up. Then using a save, e failing to use a save editor to re-edit the uh, uh, copy of the save from the last attempt, or of our, the last playthrough failed. At this point, I still got the videos from my pre from my last playthrough. I made the same choices anyway. I won't be missing anything. I, I'm these are just the last. I admit these are just the last three videos from that edited in thing edited down to match the style better of this playthrough. Um, I believe they should pick up right at the same point. So hopefully y'all don't mind. Y'all do. Sorry, I tried my best. Let's get to it. Hey y'all, this is Cyber Eagle and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. Hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, we're getting ready to head on out to take care of one of the last couple things we need to deal with. And actually it looks like, oh yeah, we did sell off a lot of our upgradable stuff. Hopefully we are quite well prepared. Lightsaber dueling, which is most of what, mostly what I'm doing now anyway. Uh oh. And Juhani seems to be able to use it quite effectively. Yeah, it's giving her a decent, um, improvement. Yes? Definitely. Alright. Now I gotta see if we can track down the Mandalorians, get them out of the way. Which they should be around here. It's somewhere hmm maybe they're over here oh wait here we go. Something's about to happen. Oh, yep. There we are. About time. them out of the way. I'm trying to avoid saying anything this whole time spoil y'all even though a lot of plot developments you can probably see coming a mile away. Gonna save now because I do not remember if that's the only bunch of Mandos. Whenever I say that, y'all can tell I 
read a lot of the Star pre Disney Star Wars novels. That's what a couple authors refer to them as. I tend to go back to that once in a while. All right. Let's switch back to Revan. You are not Ricotta. What is your business here, Old Worlder? Elders, do you want to answer our question? Who are you and why have you come? Who comes in, sir? You, you are Revan. Council wishes to speak to, with you. You may enter. Yeah, that's probably not a good sign. We of the Elder Council did not expect to see you again, Revan. We thought you had betrayed us. Why have you returned to our village after all this time? Some kind of test, Revan? Some type of trick? You came seeking our aid. You came in search for a way to enter the Temple of the Ancients. You came seeking a way to destroy the Star Forge, and we were foolish enough to believe you. Unaware of your true nature, we helped you enter the Temple. You betrayed us, Revan. Instead of destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleashed the evil of the Star Forge upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Now you stand before the Council of Elders once more, and once more we ask you, for what reason have you returned, Revan? Think we're fools, Revan? Do you think we have forgotten how you lied to us last time? Why should we believe you now? My mind was destroyed, all my memories were lost. The spirits of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true you have lost your memories, then perhaps you are changed. How are we know it's not some trick, Revan? It seems to show you'd be an ally of our cause, but how can we be certain rescue is not just an attempt to win our trust so you can exploit us? Your detail must have some privacy, Revan. We will return when our deliberations are done. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of tired of reading through all this, but it's quicker than waiting. Revan, you have rescued a member of our tribe from the one at great personal risk to yourself. We believe this action shows you have truly changed since your last visit here. So as a side, we will trust you once more. For many generations, we have sought a way to enter the temple and discover the means to destroy the Star Forge. Only those who command the force, those like you, who can enter the temple of the ancients. We no longer have that power. That was why we helped you the last time you were here. You cannot enter the temple without our help, Revan. Only the ancient rituals of our people can lower the shield for you to enter. You need us as much as we need you, Revan. For our own sake and of the entire galaxy, we hope you truly mean to atone for your past evils. If you're ready, Revan, we will take you to the temple. The temple is a place of sacred power. If you are to enter, you must do it alone in a tradition followed by our Rakata ancestors for the past thousand generations. This here broke the ancient tradition. We allowed you and your apprentice to enter the temple together and it brought untold suffering upon the galaxy. We believe you truly wish to destroy the Star Forge this time, but the lesson of the past is not easily forgotten. We will not defile the sacred ritual a second time. Only you alone may enter. When it is done, you have only to let us know when you're ready to enter the temple. I think I'm ready. Time has come for you to atone for your past crimes, Revan, but the task ahead will be difficult. Those you call Dark Jedi, followers of your old apprentice, now dwell within the temple. Go to the temple now. We will meet you there once the ritual has been prepared. Remember, in accordance with ancient Rakata tradition, you must enter the temple alone. Alright. I think there's actually a quest we can do while we're here, but I feel like we're actually ready to finish up. Alright. Besides, a few more of these respawning um, rancors and we're good.
Yeah, that's always starting to get annoying. At least I, c I should be able to use the force uh, in a decent amount, or amount of the battles I'll have to deal with. Alright. Oh, they're already there. And there's a... I thought there was a Rancor. The scene must change him alone. I will not perform a ritual if there are others here. Are those weak? Oops. Forgot about that. Ah, here we go. Now we'll begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but when it's complete, you must be ready. The shield will not stay down for long. Prepare yourself. Alright. I can't skip this part, sadly. Wait, you can't go in there alone. We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger out in the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malik himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. We need all the help you can get. No other can go with you into the temple. You must enter alone. That is the way. Your destiny. Maybe the fate of the entire galaxy could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Jolie speaks for both of us. You must enter the temple, but we must go with you. So you just tell that guy <laughs> whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. Now you must do the temple alone. I will not lower the shields. <laughs> Sounds like your dad's being stubborn. <laughs> Don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. I, I believe you. The elders have said you wish to destroy the Star Fortune and the terrible legacy of our ancestors. If you need help to do this, I will not stand in your way. I was in the ritual now. I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the core worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. By the way, a little bit of backstory, Revan actually did that to, to him. Um, Ma uh, Malik's firing on Revan's ship wasn't his first tip to get rid of him. Ah, there's one of the patrol droids now. Oh, a couple of them actually. Nope. Or is it? Nope, just yep, two of them. I'm following my usual routine of, uh... Shoot. 
Okay, I actually can attack him with the force after all, apparently. Since the next 15 or 20 minutes, we're just taking on the exact same enemies y'all just saw. We're going to skip ahead a little bit. Oh, yep. We have another temple door. Oh, I remember this. It's a really, really annoying puzzle. Unfortunately, I don't remember the solution to it. Uh-oh. Well, at least I know how to reset. Wait a minute. <sighs> Alright, we're going to be working on this for the rest of the video if I don't do something. There we go. Alright, it's gonna open the. What, what was it? Large door? Of course, the builders can strike me with a full range of sin. Says, now it says Suri input systems complement my fully aware. Oh, I recognize your prints from your last visit, which is stored in my databanks. However, I'm taking significant changes in your composition since your last visit. Neurological patterns exhibit subtle yet substantive alterations of both thought patterns and information processes and changes have been noted and recorded in my database. Building the mind to repair themselves, you'll find all the data within my archives has remained fully intact. Please choose the topic information on. And during the apex of the infinite empire's power, a true technological marvel is the normal space station service both factory and battle dreadnought. It can produce immense fleets with minimum of time and resources. In addition, the Starforge also shares much of the same technology used in my own construction. In many ways, Starforge is like a living entity. It feeds, it hungers, it draws an energy flowing through all living things, what you called the Force the last time you were here. The ability to feed and consume the living energy of the Force is the key to the Starforge's power, but ultimately it was also what led to the destruction of the Infinite Empire. Alright. Control the doors for upper levels, allowing only those who are worthy of their proud legacy to pass. Last time you were here, Revan, I set the doors for you. The near subtle neurological change I detected in you earlier likely caused a failure in the recognition system that would have opened the doors for you. They based recognized new configurations in your mind, Revan. The doors to the upper levels once again open for you. Ah, please turn if you find yourself any of the information stored within my database. I like that computer. It's actually it's. Possibly the most polite computer we've ran into. Alright. 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 Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bestilla, come with us. <coughs> we have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. And yeah, you didn't see the red lightsaber? The you say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others. 
like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared, but in reality their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Oh boy. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. So, kind of like what Balak's doing. Lies. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith, but no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council and the Republic they serve, like I was, until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even, but that will never happen now. With the power of the well, Starfleet, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. Alright. You will fall! Whoa! <laughs> Just hurry up and get your butt over there, don't Oh. That wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I've seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever <coughs> by my actions on that bridge. These are not your true feelings, Revan. Oh, you are boy. speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code, but in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Mistakes. No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power... Your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Bestula, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. Let's see You were a pathetic fool, Revan. 
Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled <clears throat> over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Oh, it's still us tell that what cutscene wasn't playing for y'all. Alright, let's see if we can find anything else useful up here. I think I was supposed to do that. Alright. Wanna make sure. <clears throat> You're back. But where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Alright. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Carl. Mm -hmm. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It would be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Bastila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. I don't know what the fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila uh -huh. still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt, but let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Alright, let me... Like I said, see about verifying the lightsaber crystal. Make sure I'm happy. Hmm. Okay, while I'm... It, yeah, I think I'm going to stay with Heart of the Guardian. I do want to check something here, though. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like that's actually the best combo for me. Alright. In that case, let me see if I can do anything for Jolie's lightsaber. Oh, shoot.
All right, I guess that'll work. All right. All right, we're gonna end the video here. Uh, counting it, it's this is gonna be fairly short, but considering apparently the Star Forge is gonna be fairly easy to me potentially, um, or at least easier than it has been in the past, I think we're gonna devote. Def uh, I want to start fresh heading there, and apparently we're gonna be might be able to breeze through it. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you're new here and like to see, don't forget to sub to the channel and have a great day, y'all.